Yo, what's good everybody? It's Tyler here. Uh, so today we have a little workout on the track. Uh, we're at the track right now. We're gonna be doing um, three by 200 and then two by 400 and then we're gonna finish it with uh, two by 200. So we're gonna try to make them pretty quick. We're gonna have a good amount of rest. We're gonna have like two and a half minutes after each 200 and then uh, five minutes after each 400. So it's pretty good rest. It's a little later in the evening because uh, I had uh, some stuff to do for my master's program. I was doing that for a lot of the day. So it might get a little dark here, but we're gonna try to fit the workout in. So let's get it. So to start things off, we're just gonna do a quick uh, two mile warm up, and then we're gonna do some dynamic, like stretching, some drills and some strides, and then we're gonna get into the workout. Okay, that was a pretty good start right there. I feel a lot more tired than I thought I would. The 400 did not feel very good, but we still have one more left and then two more 200s. Oh man, wow, I feel really tired. <laughs> um, we ran like 63 and 62 about, or 
62 than a 63 about. And given how terrible I felt, honestly, I'm not that upset about running that time. I was hoping before the workout to run a little faster, but so far I'm not really feeling that pop. But hopefully on these 200s we can put down some good times. We have two 200s left. So hopefully we can uh, end the workout strong. So I'm just taking my rest now. Got five, well, five minutes from when that 400 got done. So just gonna take it easy till then, I guess. Last one, baby. It's dark and I'm tired, but we're ready to go. <sighs> wow, that workout was really hard and it was a lot harder than it should have been. Um, I don't know, I just didn't feel very explosive today, I guess. If you guys saw uh, the last video on the channel, I did 16 200s a few days ago, and I was doing those, like my last, three of my last four 200s of those 16 were under 28, and then one of them was like 28.3, I think. So it's a little strange that um, I ran my 200s that fast when I had 16 of them. And then today, I only had three 200s, two 400s, and then two 200s to end the workout. And they felt so much harder. And like, obviously we started the 200s faster today than we did for the 16 by 200, but still it just didn't feel very good today, but it wasn't like a terrible workout. Like we finished, we didn't run terrible times. Like at the end, at the end there, we kind of trailed off a little bit, but the effort was still there. I got that kind of pain in my brain as if it needs more oxygen, which means that it's working. But yeah, I'm gonna get in a two mile cool down. I'm gonna aim for two miles. We'll see if I collapse or anything. But after that, I'm gonna go home and then I'm just gonna break down the work, the workout a little bit more and then we'll call the video. We're back home now. Uh, we actually ended up doing a three mile cool down. It was very, 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 very slow. Um, and we went home, we ate some dinner as you saw. And we also did a couple like hip abductors and adductors and some, a little bit of core stuff, not too much, but I don't know. I just feel like I felt pretty tired during the workout and I, I wasn't really sure what to think about it. But since I've been home, I just feel really, really, really dead right now. It's like 11 p.m. And I'm, I'm a night owl, but right now I feel like all I wanna do is go to sleep. So that's kind of weird for me. So I just feel really tired. So it makes sense that the workout didn't quite go as I wanted to. Um, I'm just gonna kind of go over the workout very briefly and then give a little you know feedback on it. 
So we had two and a half minutes between each 200 or after each 200. Um, but after the third 200 of like the first set of 200s before the 400s, I actually took three and a half minutes just because I was feeling like way more tired than I expected. So I just took an extra minute there. Um, but our first 200 was a 27.7, which I was very happy with. Like that's, you know, pr a pretty good speed right there. Uh, then we took two and a half minutes rest. And then and I, I didn't jog at all during my rest. I just walked back across the track, like to the start line or across the infield. Uh, and then we ran a 28.1 and then a 28.5. So like, I was hoping to get all of them under 28. But at that point, I wasn't too worried because they were like 28 low to 28 mid. And I could just tell like I wasn't really feeling like my normal self today. Like I kind of mentioned it uh, right after the workout, but when we did those 16 200s, like I was running uh, 27.9s like after already doing 12 200s. And like the first eight of those 200s were like pretty, pretty darn slow or the first six or the first, yeah, the first eight of them were pretty slow. And then the next four were, you know, a little faster. And then the last set is when I really tried like sending it, but it was kind of concerning to see that I I only had to do three 200s to start the workout and they were already like not quite where I wanted to be, if that makes sense. So then we did the two 200s. The first one was a 62.3. Uh, it felt really terrible. like not even halfway through I was like oof I don't know I don't know how, I don't know about this guys but it was kind of good to see that even when I felt like that I felt terrible I was still able to run a low 62 because I was kind of hoping for a 58 something like at the fastest and then a 61 at the slowest for both of them so to feel as bad as I did and to run a 62.3 and then a 63.3 that's I mean I'm fine with that um, you're gonna have good workouts and bad workouts. I think that 16 by 200 workout went pretty well as we gradually got faster for each set. And then this workout didn't go so well, but I mean, running is kind of weird. Like some days you're gonna feel good, some days you're gonna feel bad. Um, and when you, when you have, you can't get too high or too low because like when you're, ha when you have a bad workout, that might just be a sign of growth, honestly, because your body could just be adapting to all the work that you've been doing and it just needs a little time to, you know, adjust to feel good. And then you just give it some time and then I'm pretty sure like eventually we'll have another good workout. But when you, even when you have a good workout, you don't wanna get too hot, like too high on that workout and be like, oh yes, you know, I'm done. Like I'm good, I'm where I'm at, I'm where I wanna be already. So you just don't wanna get too low or too high and just put the work in and make sure the effort is there. And then, so we did the 400s anyways and the times were slightly slower than I, I wanted to like 62 and 63 that's not like you know super slow but for only doing two of them and with five minutes rest in between them I was kind of hoping like I said for 58 to like 61 at the slowest um, and then we did the two 200s to end the workout and I was kind of surprised because we took five minutes after the, la the second 400 before we started the 200s and then my first 200 of the last set was a 29.2 which like if I had been doing a bunch of 200s and you know, I was ending the workout and I was just dead, then it'd be like, okay, a 29.2, whatever. But I'd only done three 200s and two 400s at that point. So that was definitely slower than I wanted to. And it was actually slower than it felt. Like I was definitely very, very tired and I didn't feel explosive. I didn't have a pop at all, but I thought it would be like 28 something, which should be fair, it was pretty close, 29.2. But it felt like I was moving faster than that. But the next one, 30.4, that was not, I was obviously not what I was going for. It's just weird because the focus of this workout was supposed to be like on speed. And then it just ended up being slower than the last workout I did where I did a bunch of 200s. So it's just kind of weird. Um, I didn't go like I wanted, but the effort was really good. And based on just how I feel right now after the workout, I'm just exhausted. Like I'm never ever tired at 11 p.m. And I just, I'm probably gonna go to sleep after this video, after filming this part. So, but yeah, and then after the workout, I was just sitting there, just kind of looking around, and I was like, just kind of appreciating that, you know, even though there's this virus going around, I'm still able to have a track to run on. I was able to find a track, and I'm blessed to be able to still run, and I'm glad that I'm gonna be able to come back and run next year. 
uh, for my school. So you can't let a bad workout get you down too much. Like if you have a bunch of bad workouts in a row and you're not racing well, then it's like, it's a little worrisome, but even then you don't want to like let it ruin your life. You just want to focus on the problem and try to stay positive, you know, try to figure out what the issue is. But I think this was just one of those days, you know, and this is true for not even just like right now with this virus going around, but like at every single, at any given moment of your life, there's other people dealing with stuff too and you never know what someone else is going through. So if, you know, the worst thing that's going on in your days, you had a bad workout, then I think you're doing pretty good, you know? Not that like everyone doesn't have their own problems, even if you have a bad workout, like you can still have other stuff going on. But in the grand scheme of things, you know, it's important to keep things in perspective. Like I really do care about running a lot and I care about, you know, having good workouts and putting a good effort in and I wanna race well all the time but sometimes it's okay to just step back and kinda, you know, think about the rest of life and just keep your head up and stay positive and then, you know, we're just looking to attack the next workout. Like this wasn't even a terrible workout, like the end of the workout was pretty bad, but all things considered, you know, it was a good time, you know? And another thing is that it got pretty late. Like I was, like I said, I was working on an assignment for one of my classes for my master's program and I should have been working on it for a while, but I kind of procrastinated and I ended up turning it in today when it was due, like a little bit before it was due. Um, but then at that point, you know, it was a little bit later in the evening. So I was, you know, I, and the track is like almost a half hour away. So by the time I got there, I got like myself ready. I got set up with like a camera and a tripod and everything. You know, it was already getting pretty dark. So I'm sorry about that. I should that's a learning experience. I should try to be on top of my stuff more so that I don't have to procrastinate, so I don't procrastinate and then, you know, have to put things like making this video off. So it's all about just kind of staying on top of things, but we, we try the best we can. Nobody's perfect, but we're just trying to improve every day, you know? But yeah, guys, I kind of went off on a little bit of a ramble right there, but I appreciate you guys watching the video. Uh, like the video if, if you enjoyed it. Subscribe if you want to see more and I'll see you guys later. Peace out. Say bye, Cooper.